Hi, my name is Paula Jean Swearingen. I am from Mullins, West Virginia. I currently live in Coal City, West Virginia. I'm a single mother and I'm 42 years old. Like most of my generation, I am a coal miner's daughter and granddaughter. I've lived long enough to watch the progression and regression of coal. There's something that really bothers me about what's going on with us right now. We are so divided. We have to deal with a singular industry-based economy, and we are bid against each other for basic human rights. I have buried my family to black lung cancer and watched them suffer from heart disease. I've seen my neighbors have black water coming out of their taps because it was polluted by coal pollution. I have seen some of the most beautiful mountains in the world be blown up. Some of our streams run black and orange. We're told that we cannot, we cannot have one or the other and that's ridiculous because most Americans do. We have, uh, our ancestors fought several labor struggles against this industry and they won. This generation has failed because we are so divided. We are family, we are friends, and we are neighbors. We shouldn't have to beg for clean water for our children. We shouldn't have to beg and wonder where our next meal comes from when the, when the market's down with coal. We shouldn't have to worry about self-serving politicians catering to coal barons instead of catering to our families and communities. It's past time that we conquer that divide and we stand up for each other. We can have a clean and stable economic future for our children, but it's going to come from us. We have to invest in ourselves and we have to fight back. The last time I talked to Senator Joe Manchin about our struggles and told him about our, our polluted water, our children dying, talking about our families dying because of coal, he was more worried about serving coal barons than our children. I told him we all deserve jobs. We all deserved clean and safe jobs. And he said we would have to agree to disagree. And yes, I do disagree, but disagreeing is not an option. I'm ready to fight back. And I hope my neighbors and my family and my friends stand with me because we have to depend on each other. We have to build a future that our children deserve. I plan to primary Joe Manchin in 2018. And I'm asking you to stand with me and hopefully, hopefully, we can build a better tomorrow.